Hello everybody, my name is Professor Sabor Isaac Bowery from Mary's Hyde Lab. Welcome to Physics Lecture 153 in 2021. 2020 has sure been a weird year, so I'm hoping 2021 will turn for the better. Happy New Year, everybody, and uh, we I wish you a Merry Christmas if you haven't celebrated it already. Anyways, let's start. Find a the vector A plus vector B. Now, it might be tempting to say, hey, A is 3, B is 3, boom, 6. Well, that is not right. Let me show you what actually happens. So, first let's reconstruct uh, this graph. So this is A, which is 3, and this is B, it's really tall. Oh yeah, and this is also 30 degrees. That's a given. So this is B. And it's also 3. And you need to find what A plus B is. So, how do you find A, the sum of A and B? Well, it's actually a tiny bit simple. First, let's clone A and put it on top of B. Now we have like a ghost A, which also has a magnitude of 3. Then, Let's uh, this. Let's put a ghost B on top of vector A, which would look like this. Kind of hard for me to draw since it's so tall. Okay. So now we have a sort of good diagram. Let's say that we draw a line from the top of A down to the bottom of the graph. That gives us a thirty. 60, 90 triangle, according to the 180 degree law of triangles, which is probably not its official name, but still. Anyway, using some trigonometry, there's a rule that states for every 30, 60, 90 triangle, there's a specific proportion. The 30 is opposite to the smallest angle we can call X, in this case, a Y, the y component of a, then 60 degrees is equal to a x, which is typically x root 3, this is the x component of a, and then a is typically 2x. So, if a is 3 and 3 is 2x, that means x is 1.5, meaning that Ax is equal to 1.5 root 3, or somewhere around 2.6. I believe it's 2.59808. That means that we have a y. A y is just going to be x, or 1.5. However, this stays the same since this triangle is also congruent. So, we can put 1.5 here as y, and then... 2.6 here is x. Kind of hard to write there. Alright. So, now, now what can we do? Well, we know that since this is 4.5 and we have a rectangle on our hand, this should also be 4.5. What's the sum of uh, these two vectors? That's why right, cutting it in half. So let's just cut it right there. That cuts it in half. Now, we have this triangle. This is A plus B. You know, uh, A plus not 5, B. Then we have 1.5 plus 3, which is going to be equal to 4.5. And then we have 2.6 on the top. Now, if you use the Pythagorean Theorem, that will lead up to an answer of 5.19, or 2. I mean 5.2. So, it's not exactly 6, but 6 is very, very, very close. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.